gentlemen. Forgive the state of our dress. Dr. DeVoe Zen and myself were somewhat inconvenienced by a mob. Uh, rest assured, though, none of them were former patients. Well, let's hope the authorities follow sound medical practice, eh? Best way to treat hysteria is to open a few veins. <laughs> of the Royal Society of Medicine. Guests, this assembly has been called so that certain claims made by Dr. Franz Anton Mesmer of Vienna can be examined. I call upon a colleague of Dr. Mesmer's, Dr. Charles Delon, who is, of course, known to us all as an honored fellow member. Doctor. It is always difficult to judge in good faith. Any claim which seems beyond the principles that are the accepted ones of the day. When I was first approached by Dr. Mesmer, I too was skeptical, even incredulous. He began by outlining for me the theory of animal magnetism and my skepticism increased. I'm sure he did. I therefore took Dr. Mesmer to see some of the afflicted. I asked him to treat them. I watched. Where did you take him? To the lunatic asylum. Charlatan. Imposter. Experiment. Yes, Doctor. The lunatic asylum indeed. We walked through the pillars of misery and Dr. Mesmer wept. And then I saw Dr. Mesmer apply his art. I watched him induce, then control, then take away an epileptic seizure. I saw him make a dropsical limb swell and shrink virtually at will. I observed for myself how the patients began to understand that their own bodies were in some part their own responsibility. That many of these symptoms were not visitations from beyond, not fate, but directly due to their own experiences, memories, attitudes. The doctor was there to hold up a mirror for them. 